Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Tyrone Hill. Welcome to your mid-month reading. I hope all is well. Let us get started. I come to you, God, thanking you for your divine guidance, providing messages of divine light and divine love in accordance with your divine will. What is it that the Sag Collective need to know? What do they need to know? How can they work their light for the next two weeks? How can they work their light? Oh, that was a lot. Okay. So I'm feeling like you guys are in your power. I actually saw a fireball. Okay. Um, I feel like you guys, whatever insecurities you might have had or anything that was any mental blocks, I was like stopping you from moving forward. You're kind of dropping that. And in turn, you're opening up a new opportunity. So we have to get grounded. As you're stepping into your power here, you might feel like just ready to burn the whole <laughs> Blaze a trail, trailblaze a new path, burn the whole ish down, burn a bridge, whatever. Just be grounded, okay? Um, it, you might it might help to temper this energy by being out in nature if you can. Let's say if you if you have a yard, you can walk around the yard barefoot. You know something like that. Um, it's great to feel that fire, you know, because I definitely feel like you are in your power, or you will be. You'll feel like what it means to be you. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Imagine solutions. Now it's like, okay, what do I do with this energy? You know, that's what I'm getting here. Very beautiful energy to be in, you know, so that's good. I mean, it's like you're, you're breaking down whatever mental barriers you had that was stopping you from stepping into your full power, you know, and now you're like ready to manifest. Like, all right, all right, I'm here now. Now what do we do? <laughs> Great. It's amazing. All right, let's see what's going on with Sag. What's going on with the Sag Collective? Thank you. For the next two weeks. Thank you. We have Ten of Pentacles in reverse, which is wealth building, which is building with a family, you know, something like that. Okay, it's security, major security. Security in the physical realm. All right. This could be with a family. It could just be your own security, your own wealth building. Oh, with the Ten of Wands. Yeah, major cycles being closed here. Major cycles being closed. We have the Ten of Pentacles coming out with the Ten of Wands. You're dropping whatever burdens that was getting in your way. And that burden seems to be a heartbreak with the Three of Swords here. Kudos to you. Dropping the heartbreak, okay? In your power, in your energy. You might have had a heartbreak that brought you down and made you feel insecure. That made you feel like, oh, I can't do this. What am I going to do moving forward? I can't live without this person. Now you're dropping that, okay? And what's going to happen? Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups energy is on the horizon. All right. This is a this is an opportunity of love, but it's pending, right? It's you're in the process of it. Now, this can be love with someone else, but I, I'm feeling like you might be loving on yourself. You know, I really feel like this. This might be it, but you know, let's see. What else is going on? I'm loving this energy. I'm loving it. Seven of Swords, yep. Whoever it was that you did you dirty, did you wrong? You're just like, okay, you know what? I'm good. Picking up the pieces, moving on, life goes on, I'm better than that. I'm actually stronger because of it. You know, that's the energy that you're carrying. Powerful, beautiful. Let's go. What? Strength card. Come on now, Sag. Come on with the come on. Okay. Strength card. Come on with the... <laughs> I'm sorry, did I scream in your ear? <laughs> I get super excited. <laughs> Two of Cups energy is a broken connection, all right? All right, whatever. It's like, all right, yeah, that happened. All right, it was a burden anyway. So, and moving on. <laughs> Make sure that um, you're not burning bridges out here, though. This this strength card can actually be, you know, it's it's a good one. It's a good sign. Um, but just make sure, as I mentioned, with that fiery energy, just make sure you're not burning burning the whole house down, all right? All right, what, what else is going on here? I love this energy, though. It's powerful. Mm. What else is going on with Sag? Oh, Hierophant. Higher level of thinking. Okay. Sag coming through with the sage energy. Being the wise man of the, of the, of the zodiac. Okay. Or the wise woman. When I say man, it's not gender specific. It's just a word that I use. All right. Yeah. That Hierophant is all about higher level thinking. That's getting in touch with your spirit. Knowing who you are, getting in touch with your tribe in a process. Okay, there's just a final decision that you need to make. Okay, with that six of wands there, yeah. Be be mindful of like the ego. All right, that's the only thing here. All right, um, somebody is healing from something like <laughs> on some Antoine Fisher. Like, I'm still standing. I'm still strong, you know, which is great. 
but you don't want to like, you know, people who don't, who didn't hurt you, you don't want to come at them with that rah rah type of energy, right? So <laughs> just be mindful of that. Nine of Swords here in reverse. Yeah. Whatever had you worrying, whatever had you depressed, whatever it was uh, causing anxiety, and not whatever, but this main specific situation, the soulmate broken connection that broke down, you're, you're like, I'm bouncing back. I'm good. I'm dropping this burden. This is a headache. All right, good for you. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Let's go, Sag. Let's go. Let's get it. Drop that heartbreak. Mm hmm. Queen of Wands coming out in reverse. All right, so some some of you guys might have a little bit of a chip on your shoulder. You know, you're bouncing back, which is strong, which is powerful, but you might still be a little bit bitter about the, the heartache. Um, So just make sure that you're taking healthy steps to doing the work and healing. All right. So, you know, it's different ways to, you know, move forward from a heartbreak. Um, But yeah, this. This burden, this heartbreak was a burden. Now you're like, all right, well, I'm done with heartbreaks now. I'm done feeling hurt. I'm going to decide to be happy. And that's that, you know, great. All right. This person was crappy. They were deceptive. Whatever. Moving on. All right. Tell me more about that seven. Seven of wands. Seven of swords. Sorry. Whoa. Oh, good. Freshness. Whoa. These three cards that came out so like, came out with conviction. This is what I feel. I feel like you guys are just coming out with conviction. Like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> so we have the star card. So that healing. Make sure you're doing the healing. But I feel like you are. All right, I, I do feel like this is a healthy um, leveling up here. With the strength card and the fool card, you're ready to take a brand new leap of faith. You 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 drop the burden. You're like, oh, I can breathe again. <sighs> no more heartbreak. New level. I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level, okay? You just make sure that you're moving methodically, right? That's the only thing here. Just make sure that you're moving methodically. You're tempering that energy. You don't You don't want to just jump, jump into anything with full energy like that. You know, just make sure you're, you're wise, you know? You're wise, you know? You're the queen of wands, king of wands. That's not gender specific. Don't worry about it. It's just the energy that you're embodying, all right? A very alluring energy, a very attractive energy, okay? You're ready to manifest. You have the power to manifest, to take inspiration from, from up high and bring it down here, you know, to the earthly plane, all right? That's Queen of Wands energy. That's your energy, Sag. Let's get it. You got it, all right? Why is this trunk card here? Nope. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah, some of it is coming with like a little bit of a chip on your shoulder a little bit. All right. Um, so for some of you, this might be for some of you. All right. Because I did say like the whole ego thing It's something to work on. It's something to work on. You guys are in the right direction. This is like the first step of the healing, you know, just saying, you know what, I'm dropping a heartbreak. Cause I really do see that you guys are definitely dropping this heartbreak. You're like, look, I am so over whatever the source of this heartbreak is. I'm dropping that. I'm eliminating that, which is great. Just make sure that you deal with the fallout of the heartbreak because every heartbreak, you know, causes some wounds, you know, so just face that. All right. We do have the devil energy coming out with the eight of cups. Now, if you, if you, you try to move on you won't go too far if you don't heal okay so not to be a Debbie Downer here but that's just what it is so with the eight of cups it's like you're trying to walk away from something without dealing with the healing some of you guys all right without dealing with the healing of whatever this offer is that you wanted all right so just be mindful of that I did say this uh, strength card did have a little bit of ego involved along with the six of wands in reverse you know the shadow energy of the six of wands is kind of egotistical a little bit okay so it's good that you're feeling empowered, but you don't want to walk around like, can't nobody say, you know, like, <laughs> it's good. It's good. I just make sure that you're not going overboard with it. I think I made the point very clear. I think I said that 85 times already. Okay, let's move on. Why is the judgment card here? <laughs> I love it though. I do. I ain't even mad at you. All right. So you have the judgment card here. So some of you guys are, right, so everyone's in different, um, different places in this storyline. Pretty much the theme of this storyline is dropping the heartbreak, realizing you need to drop it and then doing it, okay? Because there was some type of crappy behavior, deceptive behavior that happened in the past and you're like, you know what, enough is enough. I ain't even trying to fight this. I'm just gonna eliminate this for my life. Next, you know, just fire. Cut it out with your fire sword, okay? But judgment. There's a final judgment call that you need to make. Yes, it's good to eliminate it, right? And get that deceptive energy out of your life. But And it's good to drop the conflict. Um, but the, the decision that you have to make is to heal. 
okay so you can actually step into empress energy okay out of the queen of wands energy some of you queen of wands in reverse energy which could be like a little bit bitter this energy could go either way for, it's going to be different for everyone right because the queen of wands in reverse did pop out meaning like you know somebody could be a little bit bitter about how they are being petty about you know um about this heartbreak like they know they have to get rid of the person but it's like how they get rid of it might be a little bit petty and that's for some of you guys all right don't get mad at me all right i said that's for some of you guys now if it's you you know what it is all right know thyself <laughs> so this time if you're used to acting in a certain way then it's just time to do something different okay so you can elevate all right no biggie no biggie all right let's see what what are the blockages here what are the blockages to make the point, to drive the point home, some of you guys are going into a shadow power. Some of you guys are going into high vibe power. It depends on how much you heal from this situation. Okay? All right. What's a blockage? What's a blockage? Thank you. Knight of Cups. Yeah. Someone's still holding on to this offer, this dream, this dream. They had a dream. Queen of Wands coming out again with the Queen of Pentacles. All right. So somebody's fed up. Someone's like, okay, are we going to get past this dreamer stage? Are we going to get past the idea of like you telling me that we can have it all and I'm not seeing anything? You know, someone's getting resentful. Someone's getting resentful. All right. Someone's fed the F up with this queen of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. All right. Just, yep. This is coming out as a blockage. Somebody's offer is not up to par. And it's making someone resentful. Uh, some of you guys are realizing instead of trying to wait around and getting more and more resentful, some of you guys are realizing, okay, this is not going to work. I'm dropping this right now. Like, just woke up one day like, fuck this. I'm out. <laughs> All right. Good. All right. Why is this Queen of Pentacles here? It's a blockage. It's because someone wasn't taking control of the situation, Okay. Oh, the lies, the lies is the seed. The King of Wands popped out again with the, the King of Wands in reverse popped out with the, um, the Ten of Swords just now. Along with the King of Wands, King of Swords, which is lies and manipulation. Someone's, someone knows that somebody's being manipulative and they're trying to just see if, like, all right, let me see. Let, let me, let me just see something real quick. Are they going, they, oh, they still talking. They still ain't about shit. All right, you know what, you know, and waiting around to see, that's just like causing more resentment, all right? That's Ten of Swords coming out here. Someone's fed up with this pain, this pain that it's causing, but all these tens coming out, let me tell you something, you, this is, this is a, the, the end. The end of the road. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Just, yep, all right, I don't have to keep repeating it. I right, keep wanting to repeat it, yeah, whoa. Yeah, all right. Yep, I keep wanting to repeat it because it needs to be repeated. All right, so this is a main, this is a really big thing that Spirit wants to drive the point home on. With the Three of Swords, you act, you drop the source of the heartbreak, but you didn't drop the heartbreak, okay? The Star card, this is about healing. It's coming out in reverse. Someone's not facing the healing because they're still dealing with the heartbreak and they're trying to act like they're not heartbroken when they are. But so their their power, them it forced them into power, which is great. Heartbreak does that. But if it's being driven by a pain that isn't healed, then that power will be used in a weird way. This is going to show up in a weird way if it's not checked. Okay? All right. Time to do some soul searching on that. Queen of Wands. You know, it's just like a matter of like, okay. Instead of not being petty, all right? And not blaming, not blaming yourself, but also learning the lessons. Learning the lessons. Why did I hold on to this page type of offer for so long? What made me hold on so I can never do that again? All right, that's a way to move on so you don't um, so you don't run into the same lesson again. And if you do run into the same lesson again, you're going to really flip your lid, right? So you don't want that. You don't want to bring that baggage into anything. You want to heal it. You want to come to an understanding about it. You want to be have a grounded, centered understanding about what the situation was, what red flags did you overlook, okay? 
not looking at this as an isolated incident, gain the wisdom from this. If there was a major lesson to learn, and I feel like that is what's going to bring you from in your power as Queen of Wands into Master Empress Energy, okay? All right, that's very important. Um, that, that point keeps coming out. You can go either way. This can go either way, all right? And it's all about how you deal with the heartbreak. All right, what, what are they failing to see? Page of Swords coming out, lies. What are they failing to see? Nine of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. You're worrying about the single part of it, about it. Like, let's say, all right, so there's a broken connection that happened, right? You're worrying about the single part of it. You're worrying about, like... <laughs> so this Nine of Swords, right? This Nine of Swords is about overthinking, right? You might be having anxiety or whatever. So that's why you're revving up your engine, trying to push through, like, I'm still standing. I'm still strong. I could do this, you know? <laughs> Which is understandable. You got to hype yourself up. If you're feeling scared about going into single world um, and you are in a soulmate connection, yeah, obviously you got to hype yourself up there. With the Nine of Pentacles here, it's just like, I want to be, you know, I want to be out on the town, you know, that type of energy. Can I handle that, you know? Um, but what you're feeling to see is you're going to be out here strutting your stuff out on the town, enjoying, enjoying your life, super happy with the sun card. Sun card, happiest card in the deck. You're going to be super happy. This is coming out as what you're failing to see, how happy you're going to be going out. You're worrying about going out into the dating world. You're worrying about um, being single. Can I be single and loving it? The answer is, fuck yeah. You're going to be loving the F out of it. You just can't see it right now. You have to trust it. You're not seeing this because it's, and you're, doing all, you're doing all this when this is coming. All right, Saj, come on. All right, what's the advice? <clears throat> what's the advice for Saj? Mm, King of Cups and the Ace of Swords. You have to face the fact that... See, this person pissed you off. You have to face the fact that you're still in love with them. Boom. Tower card. You have to face that. Instead of saying, I don't need this thing. I'm pissed off. Whatever, whatever. I'm going to go. He's a piece of... Or she's a piece of... And I'm going to be... I'm going to do me. I'm going to do... You know, instead of doing all that. Face the fact like, yo, I am hurt. I really thought this was going to be something. I'm actually still in love with this person. I still have faith. Even with all the heartbreak that they gave me, I'm still in love with them. Face that. It's healing in that. Start there. All right? Ace of Swords, you're not being truthful to yourself. With that page of swords that came out too, in reverse, lies. Okay? Don't bypass the healing. Bypassing the healing is only going to, it, it'll feel good initially, but it's it's going to come out in weird ways. This wound, if you don't heal it, is going to fester, okay? It's great that you're in your energy, anger, um, sadness, all that. It, it brings people in their power, which is great. But then transmute that energy into healing. Be dedicated to healing yourself. Don't be dedicated to like busting windows out the car, right? All right, that's for somebody. I'm just throwing that out there. If it ain't you, it ain't you. All right. <laughs> All right, let's see what the romance angels have to say. What do they have to say? Yeah, get grounded. All right, that makes sense get grounded you're on fire right now you're on fire or if not yet then you will be once you come to terms once you get to that fed up point so this could be within the next two weeks or whenever whenever you see this um yeah there's going to be a need for you to get out in nature get grounded get in touch with yourself when you feel yourself getting into this energy okay this girl is on fire you don't sit your fire out there. All right. Um, <laughs> we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Yes, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Now, this doesn't have to be with the person who broke your heart. No. This is a heart-to-heart -heart with yourself. You have to have a heart-to-heart -heart with yourself before you can have a conversation with anyone. If you're sitting in line to yourself, you cannot be honest with anyone else, right? It's time for you to be honest with yourself. I'm seeing self-deception here. 
okay the reason why you're you're being let you're being fired up by the pain of heartbreak from someone who you're still in love with and you're also angry because you're still in love with this person despite what they've done okay face that you're human it's okay face that there's healing there you can start there and then see where that takes you don't be mad at yourself don't be mad at yourself for feeling free yourself all right free yourself from that um don't be mad at yourself for still feeling in love like that happens all the time yeah that's what that's what humans do you fall in love they hurt you but you still like damn you know so you still feel good oh wow free yourself yeah that had to come out free yourself it's time to take back control of your life all right it's something where you're just like, damn, I wish I didn't have to do this. We could have been so good, man. You know? <sighs> All right. One more. Yeah. Release your ex. It's time to clear your energy now. All right? It's time to clear your energy of this person. Oh, that's another thing. If you try to bypass your healing, this person will still haunt your energy, right? You're still, they're still have, they will still have a hold on you of some sort. So keep that in mind. You don't want them to still be in your energy and affecting your new relationships, right? Okay, you don't want them to keep coming back and you still like, why can't I let them go? I keep opening my legs for them. Like, come on, no. Release your ex. Release it, the energy of them so that you can freely, so you can free yourself and move on. This person does have a, spit, a, a, a bit of a hold on you, and it's fine. It happens. Keep an open mind, all right? Uh, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation, so that new opportunity that's opening up, it might be different from what you're used to. It might be different from this person. It seems like you had a solid idea of who this person was, or you saw the picture, of what they were, what life you guys were going to have. It seems as if a new opportunity is going to open up and it's going to be totally different than the picture that you imagined. All right? All right. Let's see. What is a power animal? What's a power animal for Saji's fiery asses to embody? <laughs> I say that with love. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to rip somebody's head off. All right, what's going on? <laughs> What is a uh, what's a power animal so they could navigate this energy in the most healthy, healthy way for their higher selves, for them to get more in touch with their higher selves and for their highest good, all that good stuff. Speaking of higher self, see the big picture. All right, there's a need to see the big picture with giraffe spirit here. The bigger picture is right now, like I mentioned, right now you feel like I'm still standing, I'm still strong, you know, and it feels good, right? But what you need to do is probably cry and purge. You know, and that's not a sexy way of handling things, but it's the most effective and most healthy way facing the fact of how hurt you are. Okay, so you can actually, actually move on. Not moving on with a chip on your shoulder or carrying all that baggage of this of this shitty ex. Okay? All right. Turtle spirit. Slow and steady wins the race. Be compassionate with yourself, okay? It's okay that they, they were crappy and you were still in love with them. It's okay. You had a whole picture of who you thought they were going to be and you realized, okay, I'm not going to get it here. And you, you're having resentment. Be compassionate with yourself as you're going through this healing process. It was a major heartbreak, major disappointment with the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords like that. It's not, it's not going to be a quick like, oh, I'm over this heartbreak now. No, you can drop the person, the source of it, as I kept mentioning. Some of you guys are going to drop the source. But it doesn't mean that the heartbreak isn't there and the wound doesn't have to be tended to, okay? Be compassionate, please. Please. You're human. It's okay. You have a heart. That's a good thing. <laughs> All right. Pick spirit. Use your mind wisely. And white raven spirit. Trust in the magic. Aw. All right. So pick spirit. Yeah, be logical here. All right. I think this is coming back to being grounded. You might be more in your emotional space because of the resentment and heartbreaking. You might not realize it. Um, because you're just feeling powerful. You're feeling powerful and it feels good, but you're not realizing, okay, this is actually stemming from a bit of a, a sore spot, you know? So just ground yourself. So your intuition can guide you easily and slowly into the healing process, okay? You don't have to rip and run through it. You don't have to fire your way through it. It's just going to be a slow and easy process. Just ground yourself and allow for spirit to help you. White, right, white raven spirit, trust in the magic. Allow Allow your int your intuition to guide you slowly, softly. You see how calm this energy is? 
how calm it is, okay? Let's be calm. Calm yourself into this energy. Calm yourself into this healing. You got this. It's all good, all right? You made the first step. Kudos to you for recognizing your power, all right? I love that energy for you, okay? Um, I'm wishing you the very best. Oh, I'm wishing you the very best. Um, until we meet again, feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, add me on IG. That's Tarun Hill. Also, check out the info box below. I do uh, personal readings, okay? All right, until we meet again, you fireball. Peace. <laughs>